It's just weird. Now we're supposed to care that jails are dangerous. After so many men went to the jail, get turned, for people that don't know what getting turned is when you do the funky funky without requesting the funky funky. And then you come out liking that type of kind of funky funky. Nobody is raising money to save those people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Horrible things were happening and now somebody has PTSD for the whole event and we need to protect it and raise the money. Where were you raising that money for that person before they went into a position that they had to use a gun? Hey guys, um, BLM has become the cringiest thing that I've seen in my life. Just look at this. A man accused of a shooting at a mayoral candidate in his campaign office just Monday has pleaded not guilty. Right now, Quintez Brown is behind bars on $100,000 cash bond, charged with attempted murder and four counts of wanton endangerment. He walked into our office. When we greeted him, he pulled out a gun, aimed directly at me, and began shooting. Two days later. Part of the conditions of the law are Mr. Brown should have no further violations of the law, no contact with the alleged victims. Okay. Not to be on the property of the victim's residence. Uh, once this is posted, HRP, no contact with employees and campaign staff. No contact with place of violation, no contact with the victim's residence. Okay, any violations of those along with not making the future court dates could cause the bond money to be forfeited. The bond money will be added if the case will be forfeited. I don't know about that. You can only be able to get this back once the case is killed depending on whether it closes here in district or circles where you go with the receipt you receive at the end of this transaction mm -hmm. get your money back. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get the door. Let's go. Get the door. No Look at how she's hiding here. her face. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no, something fell. Let's go. Somebody help me down the step. Get him oh, in the car. Happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, you're not singing as well. <laughs> no, you gotta be freaking kidding me. The way she is singing it is as if it's a sister act. Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Washed all our sins away. So to give you an idea what is happening, the guy goes into the office, clack clack pistol, boom. He just scrapes the dude. His aim is so bad, as if he was playing GTA or something like that. I have no freaking idea. There's no auto aim. Um Yeah. He just did that. Hundred thousand bill money. And you're like, oh my god, that's a lot of money. No, you only have to pay ten percent. 10,000, let's go. So somebody can go, attempt to kill you, miss the attempt, and you can just bail him out? I don't know. I think that's a very bad court system. And BLM is taking advantage. They should call it BLG, Black Lives Gangsters. Of course, the man accused of shooting at mayoral candidate Craig Greenberg in Butchertown on Monday, charged with attempted murder now. The Louisville Community Bail Fund got the money together with the help of Black Lives Matter. Rachel Droz has been covering every step of the bond process today. She was there as it was posted, and Rachel's joining us live here at 6. And Rachel, has Quintess Brown been released yet? What do you know about that? No, Doug, we are still waiting on Quintez Brown to be released from the jail, which is right behind me after that local organization paid his $100,000 cash bond. So we'll get this set right over the cliff. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The Louisville Community Bail Fund says the organization is paying for Brown's release to keep him safe and give him the help he needs, especially after the recent string of deaths at LMDC. The jail right now, LMDC uh, leadership, have not been able to support the people that are in their care. Legally, that is what they're supposed to do. Chanel Helm says activists and organizers like Brown likely have PTSD after the past couple of years of social unrest and the pandemic, and says her organization has provided Brown's family with a list of mental health services. In what did you expect with all these things? 
No, 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 no. Don't blame it on COVID and all the, the PTSD. Now, this is the anxiety that you keep pushing into people. I can go to my kid and tell them, hey man, mommy is a monster. Mommy is a monster. She smiles. Mommy is a monster. Mommy is a monster. There comes a point he will break and tries to stab mommy like the, how Spider-Man beats people on the movies that he watches sometimes. That makes sense. In this case, we're dealing with someone that has mental health issues. Helm is an organizer I was mental health in issue. Louisville and the founder of the Louisville Community Bail Fund. She knows Brown personally and says it was important for her and the organization to help him. We have someone who has ignored the West End, has created uh, multiple opportunities for himself um, that has been hit by this gun violence. Um, and then we have somebody who has been fighting and creating opportunities for others and himself to end gun violence, to end violence in his community. Helm also says she thinks... How can you try to end gun violence by going into a building and shoot somebody to show you have a power with a gun? That doesn't make any sense. Something doesn't click correctly in your head. Mental issue might be, but still, you need to... If you make this normal, other people with mental health issues going to be like, well, I can just do this without a consequence, right? there are multiple sides to all stories. This didn't affect only those folks in the office and their families. This didn't just affect Quintez's family and the people who love him in this community as well. This affects everybody every day. Now we aren't sure when exactly Brown will be released, but LMDC officials say it usually takes one to four hours after bail is posted. Doug? Well, Rachel, has uh, Craig Greenberg commented on this uh, bond posting that happened today yet? Not yet. I've been in contact with his team and they said that they will be sending a statement at some point, but I just have not received that yet. I'll be sure to update everyone once I get it. It's just weird. Now we're supposed to get that jails are dangerous. After so many men went to the jail, get turned, for people that don't know what getting turned is when you do the funky funky without requesting the funky funky. And then you come outside liking that type of kind of funky funky. Nobody is raising money to save those people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Horrible things were happening. And now somebody has PTSD for the whole event. And we need to protect it and raise the money. Where were you raising that money for that person before they went into a position that they had to use a gun? If they don't feel support in the system, why are you supporting them when they become part of the system that you want to destroy? It's like we can't use or help this kid until he becomes the monster that they hate, then we will help him. You will only help him once he's on the path of destruction. So I think you guys are just creating criminals in a weird way. You don't really, really, really care about the consequence. The dude went right in his face with a gun. Shoot, maybe he wanted to scare him. I don't know. But if somebody does that to any family member of mine, do you really think I want you to release him? Because, hey amen, life ain't fair. I'm just surprised that the justice system, you don't like it at all. Me neither. Is it favorable for black people? I've seen weird consequences that I was like, hmm, that's kind of fishy. I won't be, I won't believe it wasn't like a biased decision, you know, but it happens. But what I find weird though is when there are system people that are clearly doing something that proves to you they are wrong, but you know what? I can get some benefits, some social points by going in the other direction and maybe we will get more funding. And I'm like, huh? Why are you saving the bad people that even I wouldn't even trust? There are certain things that black people can do that I'm like, whoa, mm -mm -mm. don't come to do that to my community. What's wrong with you? Why did you rob that? It happens. And when I open my mouth, you don't understand the system. It's against the white people because they want to treat us bad. I'm like, dude, you're messing my life. I want to chill, but now I can go to the same store because if I go to the store, they're going to look at me. I don't want to have that happening to my life. Yeah, we're just gangster. I never walk like a gangster in a comic store. I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? I just want to read Spider-Man, you know? It just surprises me that... Anyway, I can just repeat myself. What's the point? Anyway, man, you guys do you. But it's just we reach a point in this, uh, this society that I've just come to the conclusion that the way you're acting is benefiting the system even more. Because the system ain't earning money by sending black people to prison. 
the system is earning money by you going every time there paying the bill out okay you're the business well we're not gonna send them to prison we're just gonna charge them charge them charge them start to bill bill almost bill social programs bada bing bada boom taxpayers money anyway man let's keep it short and sweet let me know what you guys think about the whole situation and yeah I'm going on a vacation, so see you guys in three days. Peace. Don't get me wrong, my ghost a guitar bong. Put the fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk, kriyo yo golombichi jam jam, dur loketa berdeta welcome.